Hey everyone, uh, today I just thought that I'd teach you guys how to whittle. Obviously I have like a pretty normal stick. And then like a Boy Scouts pocket knife. Uh, if I'm gonna do this, I need to tell you guys to be careful. Obviously with knives, you gotta open it correctly. And you know, have common sense with where the knife's going. Uh, to whittle, it's pretty simple, I'm not gonna lie. You kinda just get the knife on the the stick or branch whatever you're using just found this off the ground it's nothing nothing special you just you know get like a good how do i show you this like a good angle go on, on it, it. Uh, the deeper your angle is the harder it's gonna be but the you know deeper the cut's gonna be in the stick so if you were like carving out a spoon obviously you would you would have like a deeper angle like that you just keep going at it till it has an engrave. But uh, if you're gonna be doing this, you also need to be careful with where your hands are. Obviously, you don't want anything in front because when you're whittling, it could be hard to push. And uh, unexpectedly, you could cut your hands but, uh, around that. I mean, it's pretty simple, but like, you just gotta be careful with your hands. Obviously, you can't, you know, you shouldn't whittle towards your body because you can you know once again it's hard to whittle if you just get in a little unexpected or you get a little too deep into the stick you could push it whittle off the bark till you have a pretty good stick i guess you can say with nothing on it and that's when you would after you do that you would start uh start actually whittling the stick a little more but right now i'm just whittling the bark I didn't know if I was getting the best shot on the stick, so I'll just give you a little bit of an up close. So you just get an angle on it and just push it in until obviously the bark falls off. It's not too hard, especially on the bark, because I mean, this is a stick I found off the ground, so obviously the bark isn't staying on as much as it should be, but you know, just do this for a while until most of the bark's off and you have a clean stick. Also, sometimes if you're using a stick, obviously you're gonna have little parts that were branching off before, like this little lump. Uh, to get rid of those, it's kinda hard, harder than normal. You would just kinda whittle at it till it goes away. Or I can just like cut into it. But, I mean, it's a little hard. I might just avoid it because it'll take a while. So I ended up getting like at least half the bark off. Well, I'm only going to be working on this part anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I ended up breaking my stick. So we got we just got this little piece, I guess. Um, but when you're whittling on a stick like this, you saw me like whittling more like this. This is just to get a little more, you know, push into it. But normally you would whittle something like this. It's not too different, but I just use this to be more precise, I guess you can say, on small spots. But uh, ways whittling can be used is obviously, you know, if you're making something like, if you had a big enough stick, which you could easily, you can make a spoon out of it. It's a little harder, but like, you would have to get like really into it. It could take a while, I mean, I've seen it done at Boy Scout camps before, uh, but Another way whittling could be used is, I'm not too good at it, but like, you can get these little curls to come off of the stick. Hold on. Some little curls like that, you can say. It's pretty hard to see, but when whittling the stick, you can just get curls like that to come off, which are really good for starting fires, you can say. So, if I wanted to get a good, like, little piece to, uh, catch on fire I just get some of these to come off like that and then I would just you know take it all off and then throw it into a fire and light it on fire because uh, it's pretty easy to catch on fire also the bark is pretty easy to catch on fire so it's a pretty good fire starter um, you could also make like a sharp edge using this if you ever needed it in like a survival situation, I guess you can say. But uh, obviously you're not gonna do anything with this. You need a pretty big stick. But I mean, whittling simple, pretty simple, but I don't know, apparently a lot of people don't know how to whittle, which I kind of found crazy. Uh, 
I mean, I've learned this since, uh, like, the second grade. When I joined Cub Scouts, we used to do this on little pieces of soap. Just like that. You can see there's little engraves. So, like, if this spoon was big enough, or not this spoon, this stick. If it was big enough, like, the width of a spoon head, I could probably just engrave into that until I get some sort of spoon shape. Obviously, you can do more than a spoon, but I'm just giving that as an example. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's too much more that I can show you about whittling, so I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.